Okay, so when you first turn on the uh, SD21 PC NFC software, and then you connect using this uh, SD25 R1311B um, discovery board, you should see, um, and if it scan the tag here, you sh and get a UID, you should see this LED pattern right here. Now, on the discovery board, at the moment it boots up, you see the three, basically, three button, and you choose that button so that you'll be in this configuration to do the picture transfer demo. Okay, so go ahead and launch your SD25 PC um, NFC um, uh, application, the PC application. And when, when that happened, you should see the disco connected, mean that you are successfully connected to the SD25 R1311B discovery board. And up here, you should see the UID of the um, SD25DV discovery board, the red board. Now, once you boot it up, you should see three icon, and you should choose the FTM, the center using the touch screen. And it will say um, on it, um, ready to start uh, demo. So when that happened, you can go to fast transfer mode up here and click on picture transfer. So here you have a choice of downloading or uploading uh, content from the tag. In, in this um, use case, I was thinking if uh, you would want to download parameters configuration data onto your device via uh, RFID or NFC using um, the reader. So you would want to do a pick, pick a pictures to, to download because it's just a binary data, so it's an example. Now here, it, it kind of give you that same thing I was telling you earlier when you boot up the board, on the discovery board, you, you click, uh, you tap on this uh, FTM button and you should see the screen ready to start demo. Now you will start the demo. Now you see this fast mode button here. I leave that unchecked because it seems that the logic seems to be like going around for this application. It, it, it's actually when it's not click, tick. It's actually in fast mode when it's tick. It's actually in a standard ISO 15693 mode, which is like 26 kbit per second. Now the fast mode commands can go up to 53 kbit per second. Okay, so now let's click start. And, and on your board, you should see a progress bar and the amount of data being transferred. It's around 100 K bytes, uh, as it said on the discovery board. And as you can see, we almost halfway through and it takes about 20 odd seconds. So when you look at this performance, is is it's not super fast but for a lot of configuration data it doesn't have to be 100k bytes it's, it can be pretty quick if you're not sending 100k bytes so here we are completed at around 42 seconds transferring about 100k bytes of data if you click you should see the CRC uh, values on the top and the duration on the discovery board, which is uh, very equivalent to what you see here on the PC screen. Then then you click, uh, tap the screen again on the discovery board to display the image and you might see just a partial image because the screen is much smaller than the actual pixel data. Okay, that, that's pretty much in a nutshell what you, um, uh, what you can do when you um, transfer data back and forth between the SD25DV discovery board and the SD25R1311B uh, discovery board. Thank you.